Well, y'all, today is the day. So, uh, we talked a little bit about the LS swap that we're doing with Aquadel Speed Shop. Here it is, guys. 5.3 LS Power Glide Transmission. This is going in the Volkswagen GTI. Uh, the plan is I'm going to take this over there to the shop. We're going to start getting into this engine here in the next few days. Uh, and then we're going to start working on transmission. So we're going to kind of get this set up all put together because that's going to take a little while. We're going to get the uh, GTI. We're going to take it down there. He's got about three or four builds that I have to leave. Two of them are actually leaving probably today, I think. And then once uh, those get out, then we're going to start working on uh, mocking up the engine transmission and all that good stuff. So. You guys uh, come along. We're gonna head over to Aquadel Speed Shop. Actually, I think I got everything. A little windy, so hopefully the audio is not too messed up, but we're gonna go ahead and uh, head on over there, drop this engine off, get it on the stand. And uh, this is gonna be a collaboration between the two channels, uh, Master of Disaster channel and the uh, Aquadel Speed Shop channel. So be sure to subscribe both of them and keep up with it. And we're gonna be updating you guys on everything from the engine teardown, the rebuild, the performance parts we're putting on it, transmission, breakdown, rebuild, getting it ready uh, to have some serious fun in 2022. So let's go on, let's uh, head on down to Aquadel Speed Shop. All right, so we're in a little rush to get out driveway so kind of go over a little bit more details now that we're in the Tahoe heading down to uh, go see Mr. Adam from Aquadel Speed Shop. So what we have is a 5.3 liter LS that we have on a trailer. We picked it up from uh, Jamie Glover here in Albemarle and what we're going to do is uh, we're going to shove that joker in that 2001 Volkswagen GTI. So, we kind of been kicking around, you know, I'm a big time Volkswagen guy, as you guys know, following the channel. Um, so, we're kind of kicking around some drag cars I want to do for next year, and, you know, Adam is, I mean, just brilliant when it comes to uh, LS builds and tuning and all that stuff. And so, kind of the ideas of my love of Volkswagens and his uh, genius in LS motors kind of meshed and here we are putting a uh, 5.3 and a Volkswagen GTI. So this is an MK4 chassis. Good thing is that the engine bay is wide open. Um, the challenge is going to be back half in the car, putting a rear end up under it, but uh, it can be done. I've seen, I've actually seen some MK2 um, that have had an LS in them and an MK3, which is pretty interesting. Um, so we've got a, a MK4 chassis, and I've already stripped the chassis completely down. There's not a single wire in it. There's no HVAC. There's nothing in it. The only thing that's in it right now um, is the power steering rack. Honestly, that's actually the only thing that's I left in it just simply uh, so that we can steer it and move it around. I don't know if we're going to be able to keep the factory one. Again, this is unknown. We've never done it before. And so I haven't seen anything out there um, discussing how to do it or anything like that. So uh, we're going to have fun with this build. So you guys follow along. Make sure you subscribe to both channels because uh, we're going to do update videos on both of them. So essentially, um, I'm going to take the engine, we're going to drop it off over there, and then we're going to do some how-to videos and things on the Aquadel Speed Shop on 
the cam and working on the heads and doing all that good stuff on this engine um, and then we'll jump back over to this channel uh, to do some more you know build on that engine as well as the power glide transmission that we're going to put behind the 5.3 um, so it's going to be a, a fun build so you guys ought to definitely uh, keep up with it so he's got a line of cams I believe we're going to do the haul gas cam uh, it's a very big cam and it loves uh, boost so um, this build is actually going to be a turbocharged LS motor that we're going to put in this little GTI so it keeps getting better guys so follow along uh, it's going to be a lot of fun we've got a, a bunch of go fast parts and we're going to uh, be tinkering quite a while um, this project is probably going to go over the course of uh, the next couple months and then we are actually going to start drag racing at different street events and things uh, at the beginning of the season in 2022 so I'm looking forward to having it all done and uh, just hang along, uh, come along with the journey and hang out with us. I'm telling you, it's going to be a blast. We're going to have fun. Uh, probably going to have a couple heartaches. I could only imagine what it's going to take to uh, hack up the firewall and everything else to get the uh, engine shoved in there. So it's going to be uh, pretty interesting. But anyways, we're driving through Albemarle right now. And again, we've got the uh, engine on the trailer and a transmission on the trailer come down here unload it so uh, you guys be sure to uh, hang out with us and we're gonna unload this joker and uh, and I don't know if Adam's gonna want to get into it today I doubt it uh, we got so many other things going the reason I'm actually in a rush is because he's got a Corvette and uh, um, he it was a 5.7 he just put the haul gas uh, cam in it we tuned it and the customers are coming to pick it up so I filmed the tuning and all that yesterday and so it kind of worked out so I'm trying to get there the customer is on the way so I'm going to try to get there in time as you see in the back I've got more camera equipment um, I'm going to film the customer picking up his car get his first reaction when we fire it up and uh, let him take it for a ride see how he likes it so um, that's kind of why I'm on a time crunch. Not so much that I need to drop the engine off, but I got to get there so I can video the customer picking it up. So uh, you can see that video on the Aquadel Speed Shop channel. So uh, head on over there. Again, guys, we're going to do a lot of collaboration between the two channels. Um, and man, it's where uh, two, two passions collide, man. My passion for Volkswagens and his for LS Motors. And, uh, this is going to be cool. All right, y'all. We're here at old Aquadale Speed Shop. So there's a Corvette that I'm going to film real quick. I went ahead and got the camera set up. And as you guys can see, you know, we've got a couple Camaro drag cars, Cadillac, Corvette. So there it is right now. And probably what we'll end up doing is um, he's got a tractor with some uh, forks. So we'll probably actually pick the engine up from there and then bring it over here. So I don't have to maneuver that trailer around uh, these very, very expensive builds. <laughs> so we're going to see what Adam's up to. And I uh, see if we can get this engine on the stand in the shop. The manifolds and all in it. Yeah. Have you have you taken them off or anything yet? <laughs> Always yeah. working. Stays busy. Yeah. The problem is the stock manifolds in there sometimes you don't. Yeah, you need to talk them into just doing a cam swap and DRD delete and then you got a reason to pull the heads off of it. Alright, you want to unload that thing? You're just getting minutes and minutes of me standing around. <laughs> 
Get me. Where's the guy with the Corvette? En route. Hopefully. So I didn't want to drive that thing in here, so I parked it out there. Tractor will make it out there just fine. I figured I was like, I didn't want to maneuver it. Was there still a seat belt or anything hanging on it where they, end, where they pulled it? Nope. It took his chain back. A little melted plastic. We don't need most of that anyway. Uh, he was like, well, I got. He said, what did he want? He wanted like six or seven hundred for a, a one. And he said, well, actually, you know what? I got one that got burned up a little bit. If you're going to change out parts anyways, let's have it for four hundred. <laughs> I like, so! I'll take it. Yeah. I mean, some of these are even okay. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> what happened? Yeah. Uh, we're going to do is fill it with concrete and turn it to 11 anyway. So. Yeah. Oh, but the thing is, it came with a computer and everything. Man. Probably on this deal, it's going to be Terminator X. Way more tuner, turbo, whatever friendly. Oh, is that the, the glide? Yeah. Got that fresh paint. That's the one I told you, remember? <laughs> it looked like ass when I bought it, when I saw it on uh, on Marketplace, and then when I got there, it was freshly painted. <laughs> that fresh gun metal on it, baby. <laughs> I, was, uh, I said, why would you paint it if it was listed on Marketplace unpainted? It's already, you know. I've already seen it and it's rare in its raw form, you know. <laughs> I guess he thought when I saw it in person I'd change my mind. I I'll tell you what, I'm gonna let you take that thing back with you. Do what? Yeah. Man. He's a little wibbly wobbly. <laughs> and then I'll just have that one sitting in my way in there. Well, let's get in there and get on the stand, then we'll rip all this old melted junk off and see what we really got here. Looks clean inside the head. Oh, well, that one does, anyways. Well, like I said, it's been covered with a tarp, so I didn't let it get rained on, but I don't know what it was, how they had it over there. Well, the problem with them sitting in the rain is somebody takes the intake off and then it fills up the head, fills up the cylinder, and then you got water in there. Yeah. I did get a little. It was on fire for a little bit.
<laughs> I don't think I'm going to be able to get it. <laughs> I don't want to cut it. I was thinking I'm going to do it, right? Uh -huh. It's yours if you want to cut it. Well, y'all. We just dropped off the engine over here at Aquadale Speed Shop. We're actually going to start getting into the engine, but for this part, go over to the Aquadale Speed Shop YouTube channel and uh, you'll see more of the breakdown and stuff. So it's going to be collaboration, like I was telling you guys, between the two channels. So to see more of what we're about to get into, head over to his channel now. Now, subscribe and watch.